right y'all it's about uh 10 o'clock a little after 10 p.m on the east coast and we are about to get on the interstate headed to moab we better light so i don't get run over anyway we got the jeep set up got barbie con got mischief we're still waiting on our third they should be here anytime so as soon as they get here get fueled up we're gonna get on the road and hopefully we'll be there by friday morning about 5 a.m see you soon So we made it to the Bucky's in Alabama. And uh, if you've never been to a Bucky's, take the couple extra minutes to stop and, and, and go inside. It's, it's, it's an awesome experience. It's a cool store. They have good food. They have a little bit of everything. And uh, obviously, uh, plenty of gas pumps to go around. Or these, all the way down. As far as you can see it's a pretty cool place and uh, yeah we always enjoy Bucky's so if you have a chance to uh, go inside of one I think you'll enjoy it too. The Mississippi Swampland! Miss Mall Outdoors is driving look at her Alright y'all, we're making a pit stop at the uh, the world's largest Bass Pro Shop. I never even heard that was a thing. Are we in, are we in We've Memphis? We've been to the largest gas Memphis. Memphis. We're in Memphis, Tennessee. Sorry, I lost track of time, but yeah, we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go see what's going on. Have some fun. All right, y'all. So we are uh, continuing to progress with our journey west, albeit with uh, some very uh, interesting tragedies along the way. Uh, most notable, the uh, rear trailer tire had to get replaced. Yay. And now, we've got a, uh, a messed up track bar on uh, one of our cohorts trucks. And he's currently in the middle of fixing that. It is windy as shit out here in Arkansas. I'm sorry for anyone who lives there, but it sucks. This is awful. Your roads suck. This wind sucks. And everything bad that's happened to us so far on this trip has happened in Arkansas, which is just awful. So 
so I gotta um, unpack this crap to get tools so we can uh, get this uh, death wobble situation on this red F-250 fixed so I'll be back in a minute yeah we made it to uh, New Mexico my co-pilot keeping me awake and we got some friends of ours who are the, the other friends now have some uh, vehicle concerns and uh, I think they're gonna be fine I just think the transmissions overfilled with uh, transmission fluid it's just blowing it out the dipstick it doesn't feel like it's uh, an actual mechanical issue but I think they're working out some logistics with it so <clears throat> it is windy as hell y'all don't even know like I almost got blown over twice and I'm not a light dude and I'm not a little dude I got a big belly and I still got blown over so I'm sitting in the truck where it's warm and I'm gonna wait on my my buddies to get their game plan together we have uh 449 miles left seven hours which i think is doable so we'll see what's up see see people getting blown around hold on there you go <laughs> it's, it's windy as shit <laughs> oh i'll be back We made it we got in late last night it was already dark so we kind of rushed setting up camp but now that uh it's the next day got our uh got a nice little camp area set up and it just happens to have a fantastic view And if we look the other direction, we get to see snow-capped mountains. So yeah. This is gonna be an amazing trip. All right, so here are the routes that we took to and from Moab. I highly, highly recommend taking a separate route home than you took going out there uh, we got to see way more of the country and um, it it was beautiful um, we ended up going up through Vail Colorado to come back down home and 11,500 feet I believe was the highest elevation we reached highly highly recommend it it's so beautiful out there Anyways, thanks for watching. I've got more videos queued up, ready to go, and I'll see you soon.